guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back, hopefully for good this time. I have been very, very busy, um, and I just really haven't had the time to kind of sit down and sit in front of the camera and film something for you guys. I actually tried to film something a couple days ago with my sister, but it came out really, really bad, and she's not here anymore, so I figured I would try something different, so or not try something different, I would just stick to what I normally do, um, which is just basically me in front of the camera. So for today's video, I'm using strictly all drugstore products. Um, in the beginning of the video, my brows are done because I don't really like experimenting with brow products because I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills products, so I always stick to those. So that's why my brows are done, um, but if you have any suggestions on good drugstore brow products, you guys should let me know in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, this is a Kim K inspired look. This is one of the looks she wore in Armenia, um, and I thought it was gorgeous. I was going to do it at that time, but I had other videos I was doing, so I decided I could do it now because it is perfect for spring because it has that nice pretty pop of teal on the waterline and it's just really nice and pretty and I honestly love this look and I'm so excited about it and so excited to finally be back in front of the camera fil filming for you guys. So if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Also if you like me don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below as well and let's get into this video. So to start off the look, as always, I'm going to prime my eyes, and for my primer today, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Light, and I'm just applying that all over my lid and buffing it out with my finger. Then I'm going to go into this Sonia Kashuk palette and pick up the lightest shade and use that just to set my primer. Now I'm going into the NYX Avant Pop palette and picking up the second shade going to the right and using this in my upper crease area to act as my transition shade. Then just below that I'm picking up that champagne color and applying this all over my lid. And because this wasn't as vi <clears throat> vibrant as I wanted it to be, I picked up some MAC Fix Plus and just sprayed it on my brush. I know this isn't a drugstore product, but you can also use eye drops as well if you don't have Max Fix Plus. MAC Fix Plus. Then to add a little more definition into my crease, I picked up the darkest shade from the Sonia Kashuk palette and just ran that into my crease area. And then because I wanted it just a little darker, I picked up this dark brown shade from the NYX palette. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm taking this Maybelline Gel Liner. It is one of my all-time favorite eyeliners to use, and I am just really using this to define that lash line rather than create a dramatic wing. I only did a little tiny baby flick because I really didn't want a big wing for, for this look to take away from what we're doing to the waterline. Then moving on to the face, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer and just buffing this all into my skin. I apologize my voice is going in and out of pitch because I am recovering for sick from sickness. So moving on, I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation in number 60 and I'm just using a beauty blender to buff this out. They do sell a brush with it, but they didn't have it at my drugstore, so I figured it looked like a beauty blender, so I'd use a beauty blender. And I don't really care for this foundation. It came out super patchy on my skin and I just did not really like it, but I didn't feel like changing and redoing my face, so I stuck with it. Then for my under eye concealer, I picked up the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer and just put this underneath my eyes, um, my chin, my nose, and in the center of my forehead and just took that same beauty blender to buff it out. Now to set that, I went into the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and mixed the yellow shade and this pinky shade and just used that to set underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. Then I went into a Maybelline Fit Me Powder and just used that to set the rest of my face. To 
To finish off the eyes, I went into the NYX Aqua Green Eyeliner and applied that to my waterline to really mimic that really gorgeous aqua waterline that Kim K had in Armenia. Then for my lower lash line, I took that dark brown from the NYX palette and just ran that closest to my lash line and then buffed it out with that peachy tone that we used for our transition shade. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes to really open up my eyes a little bit more and then I'm going to go in with a mascara. The mascara I'm using is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara and it is, it has two sides. So the first side is just the primer for it and then the second side is the actual mascara to give you nice volume. And I actually really, really love this mascara. I feel like it volumes, volumizes <laughs> and it lengthens your eyelashes and it just makes them look so pretty and it makes them look like falsies. So I applied the mascara to both the top and the bottom, but for the bottom I did not use the primer side because I didn't really want long spidery lashes for my lower lash line. Now to bronze my face, I took this first shade from the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and just applied that to my cheeks and also a little bit on the sides of my forehead just so I can bring some more life back into my, my, into my face and just a little bit more color. Then to contour my face, <coughs> excuse me, I went in with the shade right next to it because this is more of a cool tone whereas the first shade is more of a warm tone so it's nice for bronzing rather than contouring. So I just contoured my cheeks, the sides of my forehead, um, my jawline, and I also did my nose today. And of course, to make sure there are no harsh lines, I just went in with a duo fiber brush and just blended everything out. Now for my highlighter, I took this Physicians Formula highlighter and it is in beige pearl. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just applied this to the tops of my cheeks, my nose, the tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. Then I also used it for my eyebrow highlight, my inner corner highlight, and my cupid's bow highlight. And I actually really, really love this highlighter. It is so pretty. Then for my blush, I used Milani's Luminoso blush, and this is such a pretty peach blush. I absolutely love this blush. It is so gorgeous. Now to finish off the look, I am taking NYX Istanbul uh, liquid lipstick, and then to top it off, I am using Eclair because Istanbul was too pink, and I just wanted something a little more nudie pink rather than super bright pink. So that guys is going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!